from Jet 24. Here's meteorologist Craig Flynn, your weather authority. Good evening, everyone. As we uh, start out here with a look live, that's the New Motors weather cam as we look towards uh, I-90 and Upper Peach Street. And definitely the clouds have uh, moved in, and these clouds will continue to thicken and lower here as we go through the night. There could be a passing shower this evening. I think most of the time, though, it's mainly rain-free. It's not until about midnight or after, when we let it all hang out, that we'll get uh, a little bit of wet weather in here, uh, maybe even a rumble of thunder as well. Then we turn our attention to the wind issues that we're going to have through the day on Friday. So, lots of colors on this map. The blue is your wind advisory. The orange beige color is your high wind warning. Notice it's right near the Lake Erie shoreline, so the highest likelihood to get a gust to 60 miles an hour would be right near Lake Erie. But other areas should have sustained winds through the day on Friday, 20 to 40 miles an hour. Sustained meaning they're constant. Uh, so again, the highest likelihood for a gust of 60 right near Lake Erie, and we're thinking between about 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. for that uh, to happen. So we'll keep you posted on that. Could be some isolated power uh, problems because of that. Lake Breeze is strong today, so 50s uh, northeast, low 60s at Penn State, Barron, 56 Niagara Pier, Fairview south of 90, though, 71. Uh, at uh, the Mallory's house, 70 at Girard, 54 in Lake City, 69 in Edinburgh, 70 Waterford, upper 60s, Core Union City, and French Creek is at 70. We're in the upper 60s and low 70s, Youngsville, over to Chandler's Valley, upper 60s to near 70 over much of Crawford County at last check. Uh, so let's take a look at satellite and Doppler radar loops combined. Little arm of wet weather that's trying to sneak in here. So maybe a passing shower this evening, and then I think we'll get a little break for a while. Then we get towards midnight, and the next round will start to come up from the south. With that, wouldn't be surprised if there were a rumble of thunder or some downpours. We'll time it out for you on Futurecast. So watch the timestamp there at the top. This is after midnight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. Notice these brighter colors in here. That's indicative of some downpours, maybe some thunder and lightning as well. Then watch what happens. It moves away. And as we go into Friday, this particular computer model, I sure hope this is wrong. Because if we get some breaks of sun, that's just going to accelerate the wind even more. Because it mixes the atmosphere up and takes some of that wind from aloft and brings it down to the surface. So. Uh, I'm hoping that, that we do not get any breaks of sun tomorrow. Windy uh, through uh, the afternoon, we should start to see those winds ease a little bit by tomorrow evening. So what's happening? The storm system tracking right over top of us, deepening, lowering its air pressure. And with a track like that, that puts us in a favorable spot. Uh, for strong, gusty winds, which we'll be watching through the day on Friday. Jet pinpoint for the lakeshore tonight, maybe a shower around this evening, uh, and then some rumbles of thunder uh, late at night. And if anything, temperatures are going to rise tonight, so we're in the 50s, areas south of I-90, uh, shower too early, uh, and then some downpours, maybe a rumble of thunder late at night, temperatures here rising, and for the Chautauqua Allegheny region, uh, maybe a shower around this evening, and some uh, rain and rumbles of thunder, lows 50 to 54 and rising. And then temperatures tomorrow go the other way. So 57 is in the morning, and then they rapidly fall during the afternoon. So we're probably down near 40 by the finish of the day. Strong gusts, back to some calm weather Saturday, 55. And then another round of wind and rain coming up on Sunday. Looks similar to what we will be going through tomorrow. 54, much cooler behind that system on Monday, 45. And up and down we go through the final days of March, upper 50s to low 60s, Tuesday, Wednesday, much cooler by Thursday. And you can find the forecast anytime at your Click under the weather tab. Guys, over to you. All right, thanks, Craig.